down here at the Fanographic Store. We're looking to take a look at Comics 3, which is a brand new show about comic book people and the things that they do and the places that they go and how they live their life on the underground comic book scene. This should be pretty darn cool. In the meantime, though, the Fanographic Store has let us go ahead and record inside their store. So if you've never seen the downtown Seattle store, this is an honestly cool place to go. So as I kind of move my big head out of the way, this is the Fanographic Store in Georgetown. And it is an amazing place to go be and visit and see and otherwise be involved with. Definitely the place you want to come and take a look at it. So what we're going to do next is we're going to pan around so you can kind of see the store. But in the meantime, let's see if uh, we can go talk to some of the authors and other folks on this one. Oh, so you are. So you are. David Moore, David P. Moore. And why did you make the movie Comics 3? Well, it's hooked on Comics 3. It was with uh, Dame Darcy and Tony Millionaire. And... Um, you know, we, I started it a couple of years ago, or a few years ago, and, and it took a while to get finished, but uh, basically I started doing these series, Hook Back Comics 1 was with 19 cartoonists, and that was done in Seattle almost 20, started almost 20 years ago, in the 90s, early 90s, and uh, basically that had Seattle artists and a Vancouver, couple of people from Vancouver, and a couple, one Dan Klaus from San Francisco, but uh, it was produced up in Seattle, and then I moved to Chicago and did uh, Comics 2, which had six cartoonists, and that was all done in Chicago, and had local Chicago artists. And then I uh, moved to LA, and decided to do another one there. And, and Dave Darcy and Tony Millionaire were in LA, so we uh, filmed them there. Yeah. So, what are we going to see when we see Hooked on Comics Three? Booktown Comics 3 is basically uh, split into two. Dame Darcy uh, has the first section, and basically she talks about her comics, how she got started, and where she's at now. And she also does a lot of music in the video and plays instruments and, and um, <laughs> acts very... Uh, Dame Darcy-ish? Yeah, Dame Darcy-ish. And she, she is truly a hard person to pin down. Yeah, and you'll see in the video, it's pretty pretty interesting. But also, uh, uh, the second part is with Tony Millionaire, and that was shot in Pasadena, his uh, studio, which is in his garage, an old craftsman house. And, uh, and he's pretty entertaining as well. He talks about where he started from and, and how he got started. Um, just talks about his work a little bit and shows us around in his studio. And that's, yeah, that's about it. That's cool. So where can we find this movie if we want to purchase it? Um, well, Hooked on Comics 1 and Hooked on Comics 2 you can find on online uh, uh, through Amazon. And you can buy DVDs or download it. Uh, Hooked on Comics 3 isn't out yet. This is kind of a preview screening. And it probably will be on Amazon at some point. But uh, And I may do a compilation with all three uh, versions on one DVD or one download at some point. But that's yet to come. They're all based on a boom joke. So I kind of know about the rhythm, the setup of the four-panel joke. I thought, oh, that's great. Now i got to start doing comics. Well, I'll always do the Maki strip. I mean, I, as long as any newspaper will carry it. I love that strip. I see Drinky Crow and Uncle Gabby as different versions of myself. Drinky Crow is more of the straightforward, must get drunk or must have something. And he's a little bit more sensible because he's just driven to get whatever he's out to get. Whereas Uncle Gabby is uh, 
kind of like inventing oh, yeah. things or coming up with theories to justify his absurd behavior. Or also, a lot of the time, Streaky Crow would be, would be better for the joke, but I'll use Gabby because he has hands and a face. So. 